me see, where do I even start? Um, I remember I was uh, watching television that e afternoon, early evening, when things were just getting hyped up. And I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, another march. Because there had been so many marches for so many different reasons, all valid, wonderful, and good. But I, you know, after one point, it just becomes um, so familiar that it's, um, it just blend, they blend into one. And as I watched, I can remember when the, first time the, spleen, uh, the, the screen split to show several other states joining in. As the hours passed, and again, I, I was painting actually, and I was hearing all of this go, in, go on in the periphery, so I wasn't really watching. But as the hours passed, the, spl uh, the screen kept splitting and it was state after state after state and into the evening then they started branching to other countries to other continents i think that's when i actually um, stopped what i was doing and began watching full time um, with the utmost attention because as things went on I literally felt a chill go down my spine. I thought, oh my God, this was not just another march. These uh, phenomenal women from all over the world marching in solidarity with each other from coast to coast, continent to continent. I was overwhelmed, uh, blown away, um, gobsmacked as they say and as an artist one of the first things I realized um, and to be honest um, as an artist uh, I've been selling my art on the fine art circuit for about 20 years at that point and I've never really been compelled to paint anything I've enjoyed painting things and they're favorite things that I like to paint and of course paint paint uh, commissions, I paint what I'm told to paint, but I've never really been compelled to paint something. And as I watched this march take place, this historic, this historic march, one of the largest to that date ever, and the unique, what was unique about it, it's the first time, probably due to social media, that all continents marched together for the same reason on the same day given time changes across you know the continent across the globe but i thought oh my god i'm watching history um and i have to capture it and so then came the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other shoulder this is an excellent thing for you to paint but how to go about it um, as an artist on the fine art circuit when you're in biz when you're in the business of selling your art or actually when you're in business period when you're selling anything period and it's your business uh, you stay away from the rails and my three in my booth have always been sex politics and religion um, it's just not a topic that that I bring up or uh, perpetuate or continue and I try to discourage it when it does come up because it gets people too hot, heated and bothered. So I thought, okay, well, I've steered clear of politics all the years of painting. Purposely, some things I've wanted to paint in the past and I just, I just didn't because I thought, you know, uh, some things get people in such a heated state and, you know, who needs that? And there are enough other things to paint. But this, I knew I had to paint. But then how do I take it out to the world given the political climate that we were in in 2017, 2016, 2017, 2018? It was harsh. I mean, you know, not violently, so no one said anything unless the subject came up and people were willing to stand their ground for what they believed in, which is fine. Well, with me, I didn't want this to be 
uh, it's going to sound odd. It is a political painting, no doubt. But I didn't want it to be a political um, work. I saw it more as a historic work. I saw it more as a fir first time ever. Uh, this is a historical march. Uh, all continents involved, uh, spearheaded by women. I mean, I think the, one of the other things that comes to mind are the suffragettes, uh, as far as uh, crowds of women, mass in mass. Uh, but this was just phenomenal. No violence, uh, no upsets, uh, no major kerfuffles anywhere around the world that day for this march that I heard of. And I could be wrong, but I think that's pretty close to the truth. So I knew I had to capture it. But if I did, I was going to, I wanted to make it commemorative and I wanted to make it factual so that 20 years from now, 30, 40, 50 years from now, someone could look at the painting and get the gist of the zeitgeist of that time. What was going on in the heads of these women? What were they upset about? What were they protesting? Why were they marching? And I thought the best way to do that is to uh, show the signs that they were carrying. So I didn't, all every single sign on the painting are actual lettering, actual words, even down to some misspellings. Uh, actual signage that was carried that day. The signs are um, a composite of signs from all 50 states and all countries. So some of the signs are in foreign languages because they were taken from signs on imagery from other countries. So when I decided that I actually was going to paint this painting, I immediately went about doing the research to find uh, online uh, Googling some of those amazing signs, and some were extremely funny, some were extremely harsh. I tried to leave as much profanity as I could on the cutting room floor, but again, would that be truthful? Uh, I had to use some to show what women were saying, and men were saying on that day, uh, that they were compelled to take to the street in the rain and in the cold and bear, uh, withstand hours and hours of standing outside with children and babies in strollers. So I didn't want to, to, I didn't want to take anything away from them by whitewashing what they were upset about on that day. So some of the signs are a little bit graphic, but that's because it's a commemorative piece, a factual piece, and an actual piece. So anyway, um, I did the research, found the signs, um, painted the painting, and it made its debut in 2017, which is actually later that spring. I think that march occurred in January after the inauguration. Um, the reception was phenomenal. Um, as you can see in the pictures here, I met so many women, men and women and children, young, young ladies, young men um, from all backgrounds, all walks of life uh, who went to the march or they took their daughter to the march for the first time or she was uh, she marched in the 60s and now she's taking her granddaughter uh, to her her first march. The stories were phenomenal, the people were phenomenal, the excitement around the painting was phenomenal. Uh, people bought prints for their granddaughters, they bought prints for their brothers and their fathers. Uh, women who had participated in the march uh, bought prints for their friends who had not. They liked the, and some of them saw their own signs on the paintings. They liked the idea that I used the actual signs because many of the signs were signs they had carried. So they were recognizable to them. And um, it was just, um, it was a wonderful experience. Now you can shop for GPY International Fine Art products at two online locations. Simply go to the fineartamerica.com site and search for my name, Gwendolyn McShepherd, 
or simply enter the website shown below. You can also shop for an array of products and GPY designs at Zazzle.com. Once on the site, search for Classic Home, one word, or simply enter the website below. Each site offers a variety of different art products and art designs from fashion and household products to a host of other items, in addition to the traditional art canvases and art prints. you enjoyed this video. I hope it brought back memories uh, of being in my booth and chatting with you live. And um, take a look at the site. If you are not politically inclined and don't know anyone who is, um, there are an array of other products that they offer and I have a wide selection of other art that I'm sure will tempt your fancy. So before I let you go, I want to remind you all to take a look at my YouTube channel. You can find me by searching for my name, Gwendolyn McShepard, or GPY International, and I've put some videos up with music backdrop. It's almost like walking through my booth. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs>